Hey, what's up guys? Let's talk dating in the Philippines, specifically in the province. Dating, well, let's not even use that word because dating isn't really a thing out here in the province. So let's just talk meeting a Filipina. It's so different in the Philippines, but even more different when it comes to the province that I gotta share it with you, what I'm learning. I've been here for a few weeks in Northern Leyte. I'm up in Biliran. And for this video, in fact, I'm gonna show you footage of Biliran. Not that this shot is really bad because this view here is simply amazing. I love it up here, it's fantastic. Let's talk about meeting a Filipina in the province. So there's some really interesting things that I've figured out in the last few weeks. And I think the most important thing is for you guys is to figure out what's gonna be the best way to meet that province Filipina. Are you gonna meet her online or are you gonna meet her boots on the ground? When I first came out here, right away I noticed a difference, a really big difference in terms of how noticed you are, in terms of how inviting it is to come up and talk to a Filipina. You get stared at wherever you go, you get cute little smiles wherever you go. So what that means is if you have any ability at all to walk up to someone and say hello, you are going to have success having a conversation and most likely getting social media, Instagram, Messenger, WhatsApp, whatever, and start chatting with someone. I mean, you chat there in person and then you just start chatting when you get back to your hotel later or whatever. It is really easy to do that for a number of reasons. Very friendly people. They're very curious about foreigners and a lot of them, a good chunk of them that are single here would love to be with a foreigner, would love to. So that initial part is fantastic if you're here. What's different though and what's tricky about it is the good ones, a lot of them, let's just say, they're not looking to have anything happen too quickly, right? They want to make sure you have good intentions. They want to build up their comfort with you. A lot of them are very shy. I've talked about this a lot in previous videos. And a lot of them are very cautious because they're like, what are you doing here? Like, that's the first question. What are you doing here? Why are you here? Who are you with? Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a wife? Um, how long have you been here? There's a lot of concern when it comes to meeting someone that's, that's here because of a reputation of foreigners that are not looking to meet anyone for a relationship and they just want to have fun and they want to have short-term fun. So needless to say, there's a lot of caution. You have to realize that when you come out here and you talk to them, they're going to have that sort of initial reaction. Excitement, but then, oh, wait a minute. I got to be careful here. The other thing that they're really cautious with is reputation. It's huge, especially in the province. The gossip scene here is really big. You know, a lot of these are small towns, so word gets around pretty quickly if they see you with a foreigner. So a lot of them are gonna be really nervous about like being with you in public and going anywhere with you. They wanna make sure, probably the biggest thing is that you haven't dated another girl in that town. They will ask you right away, you know, do you have a girlfriend here? Have you had a girlfriend here? Because the last thing they want is to be seen with you and then some other girl shows up. They don't want any kind of, you know, friction with anyone else, with any other Filipinas. That's like such a big thing. They're very fearful of that. So all of these things are sort of swirling through their head. But at the same time, they're so excited too, if that makes sense. So what I'm getting at is if you're here and you plan on coming to the province to meet a Filipina, don't expect things to happen really quick. And if you're only here for a certain amount of time, it's kind of tricky, you see? Like, it's not something that's gonna happen really quickly. It can take, for some girls, it can take, you know, days before they're really comfortable to even meet with you. Like, they, they'd rather chat with you for a little while. It could be weeks, to be honest, with some of them. And that can be tricky, especially for foreigner guys, and especially for guys that, you know, maybe aren't planning to be in a town for too long. They're like, hey, I'm here, you, you're here, let's just grab a coffee. Like, honestly, that's my mentality. We're used to that back home. That's dating in the, in the US or Canada or wherever. Let's grab a beer, let's grab a coffee. No big deal, let's just hang out and get to know each other. They don't do that here. Like as soon as you meet with them, it's different. And they're worried about all those things that I just listed. So you have to, you have to consider that when, if you're thinking about wanting to meet a province Filipina. And by the way, guys, I have to say, the level of kindness and sweetness and beauty and all these great things and qualities and some of these traditional values, it's all here. It's amazing. I love the province. I really do. And everything that I'm learning about like province Filipinas, it's fantastic. All right, my phone literally overheated yesterday and now I'm in a new location, another nice location. 
I'm in Maripipi, which is an island not far from that setting that I was just at. I'm gonna be here for a couple of days. Anyways, guys, back to the topic. I wanna chat with you now about meeting a province Filipina online, as opposed to just coming to you know, a province town and doing it boots on the ground. And honestly, in a lot of ways, and I think for a lot of you, meeting online is going to be a better option. And the reason is, I mean, a lot of what I just listed before, as far as that initial barrier to someone feeling comfortable with meeting you and hanging out with you, a lot of Filipinas actually feel more comfortable establishing a connection just through chatting. Even if you meet them in person, it seems like you go back to your hotel and you start texting. They like that comfort of getting to know you that way. Again, because of the things that I listed. So if you meet someone online, it gives you an opportunity to you know, build that trust, build that connection, because it can be time consuming. Like if you're here in the province for a limited amount of time, how many of you guys have endless time to just sort of be here and meet different people and let things ride out slowly? So again, online, you can do it from the comfort of your home before you come out here. You can even do it if you're already in the Philippines, you can do it while you're chilling in Cebu and sort of make some connections in the province, get to a point where you feel comfortable, they feel good about you. And then when you come out here, you're already at a point where you're gonna meet them, you're gonna hang out and really see where things go. So in that way, I really think online is good. And as far as options for online, if you are looking for a good option in terms of meeting someone for a genuine relationship, you might wanna consider Christian Filipina. I have an affiliate link in the description. They are a partner of mine for this video and I've done a few in the past as well and if you click on the link if you do end up signing up for anything just to be 100% transparent some of the proceeds come back to me to support the channel of course no obligation whatsoever if you click the link you can just check out and see what they're offering and see if it's a good fit for you what I can say 100% it is a service that's focused on matching people that are genuine, looking for serious long-term relationships. A good friend of mine, Jerry, met his now long-term partner on Christian Filipina. I actually helped him with that. There's a video about it on my channel, by the way. Jerry's an amazing guy, bunch of videos uh, with him telling his story. But yeah, Jerry met his partner on Christian Filipina and um, another friend of mine, Frechi, met her long-term partner on Christian Filipina. I interviewed her on my channel as well. So there's lots of success stories, but whatever you end up doing, whatever you go with, I just want you guys to find success, find happiness, find someone that's awesome and perfect for you, but you have to have an open mind. Guys, I've been here for almost a year and a half. My approach now to meeting someone is very slow. Like I'm, I am not looking to rush into anything. I just feel good about being here. I feel good about my lifestyle, my freedom, my independence. I'm traveling, I'm doing different things. 100% would love to meet the right one where I really feel that connection. It doesn't always happen really quickly though, guys. Whatever you end up doing, whether you you know, use a dating, online dating, or if you meet someone boots on the ground and you start getting to know them, there are things that come up that are barriers to it proceeding into that perfect relationship that you're looking for. It also depends on your personality and things like that. You know, my lifestyle is kind of unique, right? Like I, I don't just live in one area. I'm not just there working nine to five where I can kind of be in a routine. I'm all over the place. I'm exploring life, I'm soul searching. And so it does, that alone creates challenges as far as meeting the right person for me. And I'm kind of figuring that out, just to be honest with you. I am really figuring out what is it that I want. And you know, that's gonna make the process slower for me. I've met a few people now that live here full time, foreigners, that it took them a few years before they found the one that they ended up, you know, settling down with and getting married to. You might know some of them just from them being YouTubers, some of them that I'm referring to, you know, where they were here and dating and meeting and, you know, none of them being the right one for them. And that's, you know, that's kind of my experience as well, but I'm in no rush. So keep that in mind. It's not gonna always happen overnight. Don't feel rushed. Don't feel like you need to just pick the first one that, you know, showers you with attention and affection. You know, I've made videos talking about that before and the pitfalls of doing something like that. But um, anyways, guys, I'm just shooting off the hip here now, trying to relay things that I'm feeling and learning with you guys so you can kind of approach this the right way for you. You know what, it's funny. I, um, I really think that it comes down to knowing exactly what you're looking for and being feeling ready. I met a guy recently, a subscriber of mine, and he came here for two weeks 
and he had a mission. He wanted to find the one that he can start a family with, like very focused on what he wants. You know, a certain type of girl that he's looking for. He admitted that when he came here and he started matching with a number of people and getting attention and having some success with different girls and we were chatting about it and um, I was kind of pointing some things out to him, you know, how what he was doing was completely different from what he really told me that he really wanted. And so what can happen here in the Philippines is you can get distracted by beauty, by, by attention, by affection, you know, whether it be in the city or in the province, it doesn't matter. There is a different vibe here when it comes to meeting girls and the attention that you get that throws guys off completely. Not just the attention, not just the, all of that kind of stuff, but who you're getting the attention from. Like when you're back in the US, Canada, UK, Australia, whatever, you know what it's like. I don't know how old you are, who's watching this and what your uh, experience or what your success is as far as dating. But most guys aren't getting hit on or smiled at or matching with online and actually, you know, making progress with young, hot girls where you're from in, in a lot of cases. You know what I'm saying? Like you come to the Philippines, heck, you just sign up for any dating service, hop on Christian Filipina. And you know what you're going to find out? You're going to be matching with girls who are in their early 20s, cute as can be, that are interested in you, that would actually consider you as a boyfriend and potential husband. So that alone is going to get so many guys like freaking out about the possibility. This is what draws people to the Philippines. Don't even kid yourself. You know that's what excites you about coming here. Yeah, it's like beautiful views and cost of living is huge. But when you're getting attention and you see guys that are, you know, in a relationship with these younger, really cute girls, that's what gets guys coming over here. But the problem with that is, of course, not all of them are genuine. Some of them do just want you for money, but then not all of them do. Some are great, some are not. Either way, you're gonna be so stimulated with options that it just makes it such a wild place as far as trying to meet someone and, and challenging and, and because of these things. So anyways, guys, I'm rambling as I'm sitting on a rock, checking out a view. I hope some of this absorbs into you so you get your thoughts together before you come over here. My recommendation as always is to really figure out what, is, what it is that you want. Like that guy who was getting distracted, you know, after that conversation, he was kind of like reeling it back in. He's like, dude, you're right, man. I'm only here for so long. I have busy life back in Canada. I really want to meet someone. And to fast forward, he sent me a message you know, towards the end of his trip. And he's like, man, I'm so glad that we had that talk because he was chatting with this girl who was a nursing student who was about to graduate, who was the sweetest thing, not as like sexy and flashy as this one girl that he had been seeing, but she fit that description of what he was really looking for. You know, wife material, someone that he'd be happy to have kids with. And she was just the sweetest thing, she, he said. You know, wasn't looking for money at all. She just wanted the same thing. You know, she had been working hard to become, you know, to become a nurse and she was about to graduate and she just wanted to meet someone that, you know, would care for her and vice versa. So, you know, you got to just keep those things in mind, guys. Stay true to what you really want. Figure out how much time you have to do all of this stuff. And if you get, if, if your time is wasted going down the wrong path, like I'm here, like I, I am in no rush. I am, my lifestyle right now is different than a lot of yours. A lot of you don't have the, you know, the lifestyle that I do to where I can just be wherever, whenever. It's pros and cons, right? Like I, I, I realize that my lifestyle is interfering with some of my goals of, of meeting someone and settling down, but part of me, I don't want to settle down. So anyways, you got to figure that out. I'm still figuring out my crap, <laughs> but I'm happy and I'm literally loving, you know, every day here in the Philippines. So guys, if you ever want to have a chat and talk about you know, some things that you're confused about or wondering about, you can reach out to me. My email is in the description. I do every once in a while, I've done a handful of them now, just one hour phone call, we chat, we talk, I help you out with processing some, some of your thoughts. It could be anything, you know, email me first. And if it's something that I think I can really help you with, then I'll let you know. And then we can have a one hour talk and we can chat details. Just send me, a, send me an email and we can, you know, figure it out if that's a good, good fit to do a, 
consultation or whatever you want to call it. So we'll leave it at that, guys. I appreciate your time. I'm going to make more of these. Um, I'm going to be traveling around some islands and different places. I am going to circle back to, you know, videos like that as well. Going to do everything, lifestyle, living it up in the Philippines, trying to provide value for you guys to help you out with your journey coming out here and, you know, doing whatever it is you're doing. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.